welcome back. In the last episode, I accidentally turned off the 360 and had to make my way back to SF again. And there we faced Rob Robert, Robert, and we, we defeated him, so Lionheart let us go. And um, he told us Al Maulim isn't uh, as honest as he says he is. Uh, he's hiding more secrets that he was there with those nine. And um, at the very end, uh, Vidic here, who I have trapped in this never-ending walk loop, is blaming us for the assassins coming here, even though we have no way to contact them and have had no contact with them for probably a handful of years now. So I think it's time we just let them go. <laughs> yeah, get out of here, you angry mup. I'm gonna go to your laptop. Maybe not. Maybe we'll go to Lucy's. <laughs> well, not her computer, but you know, her in general. I'm sorry, Desmond. You mentioned the desert. Do you think... They sent a team there, but the place was deserted. I don't know where your parents are, and I can't promise they're still alive. But I think they got away. Thanks. Thanks for checking. It's not as bad as it seems. What are you talking about? They just killed, literally killed, my only chance of getting out of here. And then I find out the assassins are all but destroyed, and, and Christ, I still don't know what these people are planning. But I do know they plan to kill me when they're done. I am screwed, okay? What do you want me to do? Just try and have a little faith. Sure. Have faith. Rest up, Desmond. You're She's missing her finger. But why? Was the whole Leonardo thing a retcon? Aren't you tired? I guess I've got to go to bed. Did they really retcon that? Just, did they not come up with that during this game? That you didn't they didn't really need to cut off your ring finger anymore? Cuz I know that's like Leonardo da Vinci's brain plan or I guess technically Altair come, came up with it. Considering Da Vinci was just doing his codes. So it'd be shortly after, like, in the 1200s and onward, that assassins no longer had to lose their ring finger in order for to do this stuff. But we knew they were coming soon. Anyway. Ah, oh, god damn it. I gotta stop pressing B. Alright, so it doesn't look like there's anything new. Uh. Yep, nothing new with hers. Makes me doubt there's anything new with his. Mexican president promises better border security. Okay, 300 dead, nearly 1,000 wounded. Jeez. If this kid isn't going to get us what we need, it's time to start looking elsewhere. I've CC'd David from our acquisitions department. He may be able to provide you with a couple of additional test subjects should Desmond be retired. In case you need reminding, we are running out of time. This crap with the fluoride enhancement is going to put us under a lot of scrutiny. We need to launch the, on the 21st. If we wait any longer, we risk everything being frozen during the investigation. I have a feeling that none of our friends in DC are going to be able to do us any favors on this one. We'll deal with them come election time. We've cleared up the mess at the DIA, but I'm hearing there's some jackass baggage handler trolling news groups and nut job websites with his tales of mass murder and corporate over coups. Where is he even getting his information from? Your report said the project lead killed everyone down there before our cleanup crews arrived. I still don't understand how they managed to botch that so badly. Anyway, we're trying to figure out who the hell he is so we can shut him up. 
but he's proven difficult. I'm beginning to wonder if he doesn't have help. Seems there's still seems there are still a couple of those assassin bastards running loose. It only takes one, but you already knew that. Makes me wonder if the fluoride leak was internal after all. And if it was, are we dealing with a whistleblower or something worse? I'm about ready to pull the plug on our Subject 17, so either get me results or get another person into that animus. Alan. Okay, so... I think we read this? I don't know. It's really hard to remember what we've read and what we haven't read. But just in case... He said wind up like Layla. Uh, oh yeah, that's the same one on hers. I know what you're doing, know what you did, I saw him, he had a metal ball, it opened, they went crazy, shooting, stabbing, tore each other to pieces, I know it was you people, saw the logo, heard the name, I'm going to tell anyone who will listen, you'll be exposed, they'll know the truth, and then you'll pay, you crazy bastards, you'll pay. And I think I've read this one, yeah, I think we're good, I think it's just time to go to bed. Damn, is it really, have we really been just hanging out in here for six minutes? Shit. Well, time to go to bed and wake up and then uh, go confront Al Mualim once and for all. Bed, bed. Get up. Even earlier than usual, Doc. I'd like to get this over with as quickly as possible. If you say so. Don't be so glum, Mr. Miles. Today is a historic day. One that will be remembered for years to come. Remembered by some of us, anyway. Of course my phone drops. Why wouldn't it? Alright. Can I have a little chat with you, Lucy? No. No. Uh. When you have been exposed to the guards, break their line of sight and try to hide from them. Stay hidden until you are anonymous again. Where is everyone? Gone to see the master. Was it the Templars? Did they attack again? They walked the path. What path? What are you talking about? Towards the light. Speak sense. There is only what the master shows us. This is the truth. You've lost your mind. You too will walk the path or you oh. will perish. So the master commands. It was Al Mualim, wasn't it? What's he done to you? Praise be to the master, for he has led us to the light. Yeah, he's using the apple on these poor suckers, isn't he? Because, uh, everything's so dull and co colorless. I mean, this game's got dull color palette to begin with, but still. Bro, I'm about to knock down anybody who says anything to me now. Oh, 
speak my Shut up, man. I don't care about your mind controlled speech. Oh, what's up, guys? How you doing? Oh, what is going on here? Okay. I don't care if you're assassins. Get your dirty hands off me. I mean... Damn. Well, he got to die on the bench, and that's what matters. Man, I'm just knocking you guys down. I'm not actually, like, insta-killing any of you. Spoke too soon. Way too soon. Bro. Seriously, man. Such great bush <laughs> animation, dude. Obviously, that's sarcasm. God dang it. Okay, why don't you just one shot the person I want you to? Okay, what? What was that? What, what, what was that? I didn't die. Did I kill too many assassins? Is that what was going on here? Like, what? Okay, um. okay, no. I mean, thank you for throwing me the way I wanted. Ow. Okay, parent. No, I do have to kill everybody. Then how the fuck did I die? I did not die. Okay, I don't know how that guy wasn't dead. I stabbed him while he was on the ground. Are you not crazy? Wait, what? Oh, now I can go this way. Never mind. I'm just, I'm just crazy. You a fine time to arrive. So it seems. Guard yourself well, friend. Al Mualim has betrayed us. Yes, betrayed his Templar allies as well. How do you know? After we spoke, I returned to the ruins beneath Solomon's temple. Robert had kept a journal, filled its pages with revelations. What I read there broke my heart, but it also opened my eyes. You were right, Altair. All along, our master has used us. We were not meant to save the Holy Land, but deliver it to him. He must be stopped. Be careful, Malik. What he's done to the others, he'll do to us given the chance. You must stay far from him. What would you propose? My blade arm is still strong and my men remain my own. It would be a mistake not to use us. Distract these thralls then. Assault the fortress from behind. If you can draw their attention away from me, I might reach Al Muallam. I will do as you ask, Dai. The men we face, their minds are not their own. If you can avoid killing them. Yes. Though he has betrayed the tenets of the Creed, it does not mean we must as well. I'll do what I can. It's all I ask. Game doesn't give me a choice. Safety and peace, my friend. Your presence here will deliver us both. Yeah. We climb up these stairs for the last time in this game. Yeah. Oh. Oh my. What's up, guys? There are so many innocents. 
I must be careful not to harm them. Okay, that's just creepy. All their heads are turning towards me. Yeah, can you all get out of my way? Thank you, please. Oh, that's right. He's on the balcony, isn't he? No! What's happening? So, the student returns. I've never been one to run. Huh? Never been one to listen, either. I still live because of it. What will I do with you? Let me go. Oh, Altair. I hear the hatred in your voice. Feel its heat. Let you go? No. Well, that would be unwise. Why are you doing this? I found proof. Proof of what? That nothing is true. And everything is permitted. Come. Destroy the betrayer. Send him from this world. Hey, wait, whoa, wee! This is everybody I killed. These are okay. I wasn't even paying attention on that one. Rude. Oh, but because they're illusions, they're all just one kick kill. Okay. Now that was rude. You grabbed me in a killing animation? Bro. Trying from behind? That's okay. Don't not like you. Alright. There we go, fat man. You were last. How you were last, I don't know. Face me! Or are you afraid? I have stood before a thousand men, all of them superior to you, and all of them dead, by my hand. I am not afraid. Prove it. Them what fight would words. I possibly fear? Look at the power I command. Power, all right, that's for sure. Oh, come on. Bruh. Bro, if you're gonna do two grabs in a row, there's something wrong with you. Okay. Could you stop grabbing? That's getting a little annoying. Oh, shit. Have you any final words? You lied to me. Called Robert's goal foul when all along it was yours as well. I've never been much good at sharing. You won't succeed. Others will find the strength to stand against you. And this is why so long as men maintain free will, there can be no peace. I killed the last man who spoke as such. Bold words, boy, but just words. Then let me go. I'll put words into action. <laughs> Tell me, master, why did you not make me like the other assassins? Why allow me to retain my mind? Who you are and what you do are twined too tight together. To rob you of one would have deprived me of the other. And those Templars had to die. <sighs> But the truth is, I did try, in my study, when I showed you the treasure. But you are not like the others. You saw through the illusion. Illusion? That's all it's ever done. This Templar treasure, this piece of Eden, this word of God. Do you understand now? Red Sea was never parted. 
Water never turned to wine. It was not the machinations of Iris that spawned the Trojan War, but this! Illusions! All of them! What you plan is no less an illusion. To force men to follow you against their will. Is it any less real than the phantoms the Saracens and Crusaders follow now? Those craven gods who retreat from this world that men might slaughter one another in their names? They live amongst an illusion already. I'm simply giving them another. One that demands less blood. At least they choose these phantoms. Or do they? Aside from the occasional convert or heretic? It isn't right. Ah. And now logic has left you. In its place, you embrace emotion. I am disappointed. What's to be done, then? You will not follow me, and I cannot compel you. And you refuse to give up this evil scheme. It seems, then, we are at an impasse. No, we are at an end. I will miss you, Altair. You were my very best student. All right, bro. You want this? You got this. Blind, Altair. Blind is all you've ever been. All you'll ever be. What? going on here there's nowhere to hide do I gotta come down here to find him ah my blade sees four it cuts through the darkness this man's a little crazy. Okay, so he's not over here. All right. Ah, oh, there he is. Bro, get your dirty hands off me. Um. Come on, bro. Bro. Where the hell is he? Wait a minute. Nope. I thought maybe I could go up. I can't. Oh! What's up, man? Alright. Come on. Bro, no. There we go. Come on, baby. You can do it one more time. Okay, maybe another time. Okay, bro, how many times we gotta tell you? Okay, killed him on the steps. Impossible. The student does not defeat the teacher. So it seems. You have won then. Go and claim your prize. You held fire in your hand, old man. It should have been destroyed. Destroy the only thing capable of ending the Crusades and creating true peace? Never. Then I will. We'll see about that. I applied my heart to know wisdom, and to know madness and folly. 
I perceived that this also was a chasing after wind, for in much wisdom is much grief. And he that increaseth knowledge increaseth sorrow. Destroy it! Destroy it as you said you would! I... I can't. Yes, you can, Altair. But you won't. Flat Earthers must really hate this game. We've got it. Hey, yo, I want to know what happens. Come on. That's a cliffhanger. Don't take me out of the Animus now, jeez, come on. What the hell was that? Well? We've got them. How many? At least half a dozen. We don't need them all. We should assume some amount of decay. I can't imagine they'll all still be functioning. At least two appear to reside on land masses that no longer exist. We'll dispatch teams to each site and determine viability. We only need one, after all. What about the rest? Collect them. Let's not leave anything to chance. Last thing we need is some damn survivor making trouble for us in the new world. And the assassin? We have what we need. Kill him. Wait. You know how these things work. I doubt we'll be able to walk right in. What's your point? We might need him. His memories. I'd recommend we hold him until we have confirmation that there aren't any surprises waiting for us at the sites. This is a waste of time. You said it yourself. We shouldn't leave anything to chance. Very well. Ensure we have no further need of him, then kill him. Fine. Stop undermining my authority! I just saved your ass. Let's go. We've got a lot of work to do. Don't get too comfortable, Mr. Miles. We'll be back for you soon enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the hell is that? That's a lot of blood. The eagle and the apple? 100G. 1191. That's right, that's the year this game takes place in. Yona Guni? I know some of these are reused for Subject 16's puzzles in the next game. Like, you'll look for these in Italy and interact with them to do the puzzle of sort. And by puzzles, I mean brain teasers. Weird, he left over there. Oh, there's one on the wall right there. Left over there, pretty clean. That I can see of. Oh, yeah, he left, he left it clean. So just in front, to the left, and to the right, is where he painted with his blood. Yeah, that one. I like that one. I've always liked that one. That one's pretty dope, too. Time to go into the bedroom, I guess. Oh my god. It looks like... Is that blood? What the hell were they keeping here before me? What happened to him? What um, you're saying what's happening? I wonder. Not 
really how the game is? I mean, I get the two starts off with him. I mean, I get that two starts off with him in the middle of the year, like escaping Sturgo. That's how Assassin's Creed 2 starts. What's with this Devil May Cry music as well? This is very Devil May Cry. Um, I'm gonna set the 360 controller down and hope nothing bad happens while this plays out. So Assassin's Creed 1. Um, I have... I'm not gonna say shit on this game for a long time. But looked down on it pretty, pretty well. Looked down on it in pretty high regard. <laughs> And having finally beat it for the first time in my life, having played this game, attempted to play it periodically throughout the early 2010s, and then like from 2014 onward, I never even touched it. Because um, by that point, I'd learned, yeah, this game just, this disc just scratched, and I'd have to get a new copy in general if I want to play it. And I just, you know was never in the financial stability to buy my own copy and I never wanted to ask for it because there was always other stuff I wanted more. So you know it wasn't until last year, um, mid last year that I thought well why don't I now that I have the financial stability um, I've been doing a lot of Assassin's Creed obviously I did I've already done Unity. Unity was the first one I did. I did Two, I did Brotherhood, I did Revelations, I did Valhalla, which means I haven't done three Black Flag, Syndicate, Origins, Odyssey. Um, I have Odyssey videos, but they're more, <clears throat> more so just me taking on um, champions in the overworld. So yeah, I mean, having gone back to the beginning, I finally finished it all the way through. I think my opinions changed just slightly on Assassin's Creed. I still do stand by the fact that Assassin's Creed can stand to gain from a remake. If you were to remake this game, and like say the same style of Assassin's Creed 2 this game would be so much better if you added way more story elements throughout your targets um, otherwise it's pretty boring just going from you know from Jerusalem to Acre to Damascus or no I think it was Jerusalem Damascus Acre and then Jerusalem Damascus Acre you know, and just rinse and repeating that, going to each place, then going to a new district, but doing the same things in those districts, saving citizens, hitting viewpoints, and doing the investigations, whether it's a pickpocket, a eavesdrop, a informant, a um, interrogation, whether it's one of those, it's pretty standard, far poor for the course. There's like hardly any um, variation, any differential from targets, like, the most you can say is, like, the final, like, target assassination, when you go to the target, that's the biggest difference from each mission, which at least it's got that variation, but to me, I don't think that's enough to really make the game exciting, um, at all, like, I wouldn't say this game's boring, but... I definitely wouldn't say this game is exciting either. I'd say this is probably out of every Assassin's Creed main canon game that I've played. I guess I should say canon, but main console game that I've played. This is probably the most boring one. It's more boring than Revelations, Brotherhood, 2, Unity, Syndicate, Origins, Odyssey, and Valhalla. Every single game after this has way more story to it, has way more consistent pacing in the story to make it entertaining. 
I mean, I guess you can say maybe Odyssey and Valhalla might be boring to some because they're so big and you might go a long time without story bits, but then there's just so much more story to it compared to something of the scale of Assassin's Creed. Whereas Assassin's Creed is big for its time is not that big by comparison. Like, I'd consider this game on par with maybe um, two. But two switches it up a lot because you're in Florence and then you go to the countryside and then you go to the town with the moat that you don't spend much and then you go to Venice. It's like you do a series of assassinations here, there, there, and there. And you don't really go back to the other cities once you've moved on. You know, whereas this one, obviously, I've already explained it. You go to Jerusalem three times, and you have a target in each district. The poor, the rich, the middle, and so on and so forth. Which, Acres and Damascus as well. Uh, and because of that, honestly, the most story you're going to get <clears throat> is at the beginning and at the end. So, like, up until... I'd say the end of the first target is like your big story in the beginning because you still, you know, you go to Jerusalem. It's either Jerusalem or Damascus, but I think I'm pretty sure it's Jerusalem. And the guy who's there and the the assassin Burrow is still kind of like pissy towards you, right? And then at the end, you know, once you get to the funeral target, the story picks back up again. Otherwise, you're getting tiny story bits every time you go to Al-Mulim, Al -Mulim, the target in Al-Mulim. But there's a bit, there's a fair bit of gameplay in between the Al-Mulim and when you reach your target. So it makes the pacing feel pretty inconsistent. Ah, oh, here we go, visions of the future. What is, what is, what is this? Um, what is, what is going on here, I yeah, what? Come on, man. Come on, man. I've got the microphone in my lap. I mean, do I go to bed? It's just, is this just kind of like BS to go back into? Did he do anything in the bathroom, man? No, no, he spared the bathroom. Thank God for that. Just the wall above your head. Okay. Okay, so I'm assuming... There's nothing too entertaining here. You can just go through the laptops. Go back into the Animus if you desire. Nothing really new new though. Oh, can I come in here? Was I able to come in here before? I don't think I ever checked. Ah. Won't let me go through there, though. Nothing over there, though, either. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is just so you can go back into the Animus. That's all this is. So you can explore more and do the Animus. Um, just out of curiosity, is 5, 2, 1. Okay, yeah, there's definitely nothing new. And their M boxes. Uh, so it was Damascus Acre. Memory block four. I mean, I think this is dope. 
Aha. Uh -huh. Paradise. Additional memories. What does this got a little thing over it? Because it lets you re. It's the attachment. My master is dead, and many more with him, friend and foe alike. But the storm is broken, though pride may hold the clouds aloft a little longer. Of this much I am certain. With Robert, now Morlim dead. The Sarkian and Crusader armies will lay down their arms and give up this senseless war. Freed from the manipulations and schemes of wicked men, Saladin and Richard will, f or will find they have more in common than they think. Peace will return to the land. If they should stray once more, then my brothers and I will do what needs to be done to set things right. Masief is quiet now caressed by the winds which carry through the valley. What is this thing I hold that it can bend men's minds no larger than an apple, yet it's power greater than any weapon I've known. Greater than any weapon I've known. I've seen what evil the smallest taste brings. I should destroy it, yet something stays my hand. No, I will hold it a little while longer and see what it may teach me. Perhaps it can be turned to good. Or is it this what the others thought when they held it? Is that its power then? To turn the noble into cruel? I know not what the future holds for any of us. But I do know those assassins who remain will need guidance. I must attend to them. I hope to heal their wounds. We will march together into the future and emerge stronger than we were before. If we are to succeed, if we are to rebuild, then we must be careful not to repeat the mistakes of those who came before. We must be vigilant, even mindful of the past. Okay, so... That's... That. It had an attachment. Interesting. Did they all have an attachment? No. Weird. Oh, so yeah, this just allows you to go back in and do anything you need to do to get the, like the uh, excess stuff or not. So yeah, we're good on that. Anyway, so that is it for Assassin's Creed. Um, I have more respect for the game now that I've beat it. But I still stand by my standpoint that it is the worst game in the series. But I mean, it's still a good game by all means. It's just a little boring and a little tedious. Which is the only reason why I'd say it's the only Assassin's Creed game that can stand to sort of benefit from a remake. The only way to can benefit from a remake or any of the other 360 games is basically pure graphical enhancement. Um, because even the PlayStation 4 ports or whatever, they still don't look as good as like native PS4 and PlayStation 5 games. But Assassin's Creed 1 looks the roughest of them all. It feels the roughest of them all. And its story is the barest of them all. But when the story is there, it's good. And like I said, I am always a firm believer and firm defender of the modern day section of any Assassin's Creed game. Because it's always intriguing. It's always interesting to me. It's not really that all that complicated. It only got complicated because everybody complained they had to kill, spoiler alert, Desmond off. Which was a stupid idea. They should have never killed Desmond to begin with. 
it was his death that sort of held the series at bay for a long time. But anyway, Assassin's Creed 1 is done. It's another one for the books. So with that, that's it for this game. Um, by the time this comes up, I don't know what will be coming out next. I think Triangle Strategy probably will be what's uploading after this. So I hope you have a great day. Remember, you can be the best that you could possibly be. If you liked the video, give it a like. Comment for that. Be super special, awesome. Subscribe if you haven't. That'd really help me out. And ta-ta. For now. I've seen what evil. Bro. Bro, come on, man. Help them to heal their wounds. Are you fucking kidding me?